I never had a phone during my teenage years. Growing up in the 2000s, cell phones hadn't become commonplace yet. I remember that my friends had beepers and some of them had landlines, but I never felt that I needed a phone of my own. I knew that I could always call my friends on either their cell phones or their landlines, so I never felt the need to keep up with the latest technology. Instead, I spent my time doing other things. I took up hobbies like painting and playing the guitar, and I even started a band with some of my friends. Instead, I spent my time doing other things. I took up hobbies like painting and playing the guitar, and I even started a band with some of my friends. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you good, yo, you good. You good, I mean, yeah, you good. We would practice in the garage and write our own songs. We didn't need phones to communicate with each other because we were together all the time. Like I belonged and I was often left out of the group. I tried to stay positive, but it was hard. I was constantly reminded that I didn't have a phone. My parents surprised me with a phone. It was an outdated model, but I was still so happy to have one. I could finally talk to my friends without feeling left out. I had finally caught up with the times. It made me realize how powerful technology can be. It was like a lifeline to my friends and family. I could stay connected to them despite our differences. From that day forward, I cherished my phone and all the ways it connected me to the world. As I look back, I'm thankful for the times I didn't have a phone. It taught me to be grateful for what I do have, and to appreciate every moment. The biggest thing is...